Hello and welcome to a new Blender Let's Build tutorial. Today we'll look at how to create a custom AUV pass. Well, what is a custom AUV pass? It is a custom defined pass which you can use later on, maybe in After Effects or somewhere else. Well, how to do it? Um, you just go here in the uh, view layer properties and then you scroll down and there you can see is shader AUV and there you can just put in another pass. In my case, it's called CID, which stands for color ID. And, um, and then of course you can create it into in your materials panel. I just scroll up. You can see I've created three materials, one material for one object. And um, every material I want to give a custom ID uh, AOV pass. So how to do it? Um, I just go here and then I press Shift A and I type in color ramp and uh, I just delete the last one and I go here and I just use maybe blue. Uh, by the way, I just move in the RGB spectrum. You can also use cyan, magenta and yellow as well. Um, so you have six colors that you can use later on and then of course you have to connect it and you connect it to AOV AOV output and, and the color and then you have to name it and uh, be careful because name has to be the same one that you have defined here so um, I just type in CID and then you can just render it and I have rendered it all the uh, I've rendered it already and if you go here and just go to backdrop, you can see if I go here, this is the usual image. And if I come here, you can see there you have your color ID masks and uh, which are quite handy in After Effects. Um, you can use them very often. So um, I hope this was useful. If there's anything else, just leave a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, see you next time and God bless you.